Hello, I'm Pastor Rosemary, Astrology Angel, and this is your April 10th to April 15, 2022 waxing gibbous moon that transits through the signs of Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra. We're using Universal Time Coordinated, UTC, and Tropical Astrology. And this is Psychic Astrology Messages and Lunar Mansion Angels and Lords. And for the sign of Cancer, the crab on 4 10 2022 we've got from the day before and now in the early morning so in other words from the day before the 9th and and now in the early morning on the 10th find love and kindness fortify structures and conquer enemies from the neck or forehead of the lion in the constellation of cancer the crab with lunar angel Ardesiel and Lord Ardefer so what we're trying to say here is that Although this is, this is in the neck or forehead of the constellation of, of Leo the Lion, it's in, it's, it's in the constellation of Cancer the Crab. Now, why is there a discrepancy? Because in, in ancient times, in Arabic astrology, it used to be the great lion that encompassed 60 degrees rather than 30 degrees. It was way bigger, and it encompassed Cancer the Crab. And then they made it smaller and they cut the lion down and made this the lion and then they made cancer the crab here and, and they did that with Scorpio and Libra as well so that's why it's like that okay so understand that now on the 10th uh, we also have in the night time okay we we're gonna have it transiting into the sign of of Leo the lion you know the, the it actually goes into the sign of the modern day Leo the lion okay so at night time on the 10th find favor and redemption gain in merchandise as well also good for voyages and saving captives look for the image of a man riding a lion and holding the lion's ear in his left hand while holding a gold bracelet in his right hand so that people will fear worship and revere you from the main of the lion in the constellation of Leo the lion with lunar angel Anechiel and Lord Nicole. Now we're going to get into the 11th. It's April 11th, and we have also this moon. It's a remember it's a waxing gibbous moon in a sign of Leo the lion at night. Find profitable harvests and friendships, good for bettering employees and allies. Beware altercations avoid travel upon the sea also beware the image of a man or an angel fighting with a dragon or a serpent like in in the archangel michael fighting with satan or hasatan or if you have perseus fighting calipus or if you have uh, a human fighting an alien okay that's all angels or men fighting a dragon why should you avoid this because it causes the separation of lovers so unless you're trying to break up lovers or people that are love that are in love with each other don't look at this at this image okay if you want to break up your love life or that of others then that's the one you're going to use see how this works now often this is how the archangel michael is depicted understand that not always but often also uh, many science fiction images have this effect since aliens often look like a type of serpent or aliens often look like a type of what a type of dragon or a monster right now from the tail of the lion in the constellation of Leo the lion with lunar angel Abdizuel and Lord Abdizu so now we get to Virgo and that's on April 12th the nighttime find gain and increase and opportunities to go on excursions benevolence a fruitful harvest and a chance to set captives free liberation Use images or figurines of a woman in white wax and a man in red wax embracing to create harmony between married spouses. Also, this talisman dissolves any evil charms or spells that have been used to stop a couple from copulating. From the dogs of Virgo or the wings, the wings of, of Virgo, it's called the winged ones of Virgo. With lunar angel Z Jaziriel, so Jaziriel, 
and Lord Azarut, Azarut for this mansion. Also, we get to the 13th of April, Virgo, at the nighttime, find healing of ailments and cures for sickness and also favors married couples. So find cure for ailments or illness or sickness and also good luck and favor for married couples, good for voyaging on the water, but it's bad for journeys upon the land. Okay, there's a difference. Now, beware the image of a dog chasing and biting his tail, for it causes divorce and separation of the man from the woman. From Virgo's ear of corn in the sign of Virgo the Virgin with lunar angel Urgediel and Lord Erdigal. Lord Erdiga, that's how you can get the good things from this mansion. And now we go to April 14th at night in the sign of Libra, the scales find profit from exacting and digging up treasure. So you're going to, you know, precisely find buried treasure and you're going to dig it up and you're going to extract it from the ground. Also, burrowing or digging pits is good for that. It's good for divorce. If, you have, if you're trying to get a divorce to go through, it's good for that. It's also good for creating discord or conflict. If you want to create conflict during this mansion, it's the time to do it. Also, effective for destruction of houses, annihilation of enemies, though it is bad to go on journeys. Now, use the image of a woman or a man or yourself sitting and writing letters on a piece of paper. For this image causes friendship and goodwill. From one that is cloaked or covered while flying in the constellation of Libra the Scales with lunar angel Ataliel and Lord Akalich. Okay? Now, finally, we have Libra. On the 15th of April, late evening, beware hindrances or obstructions or obstacles during travel, wedlock, commerce, or harvesting. So these things could be obstructed or hindered during this mansion. Though this mansion does help to redeem captives. It's good to use the image of a man sitting on a chair while grasping a weight, balance, or pair of scales in his hand, okay? For it causes abundance of sales of goods or selling them, you know, to promote uh, and to, to, to be able to sell things and to promote the selling of things and also to make displays in order to sell things, okay? That's what a man sitting in a chair holding scales in his hand is good for okay from the horns of the scorpion and the sign of libra the scales with lunar angel azeruel and lord azaruch okay now understand we said before that leo used to be bigger and then they cut it in 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 you know to make it smaller and now it it has it in, includes cancer and libra and leo and then we have Scorpio used to be bigger and now it includes Libra and Scorpio. So this is this is this last one, okay? This this uh horns of the scorpion is in the sign uh is Libra the scales because now Scorpio is smaller. So the horns of of Scorpio um what it used to be a long time ago is now Libra the scales. That's why there's two of them, okay? like two horns and two scales. So now Scorpio has horns of his own now. It's smaller, but however, those his the whole thing is smaller, okay? So that's it's been reduced and they added more. Okay, they added more signs. That was ancient Arabic astrology, extremely interesting. The ancient Arabic astrology, ancient Arabic magic, extremely interesting. And that if if you wonder why commercials are the way they are, if you wonder why television shows are the way they are, if you wonder why movies are the way they are, if you wonder why plays are the way they are, if you wonder why religion is the way it is, this is the reason why. They've been controlling you from way back when in Babylon with these same images. It comes up in religion. It comes up in movies, television, plays, pictures, painting on rock walls, you know, whatever. 
It's been going on forever and you're controlled by it. And it is the secret of the secret because they know when and they know how and they know exactly what image and exactly when. And you can know it too. But you have to study the lunar mansions if you want this power. Okay? And you can flash these images at others or flash these images at yourself and they work. So if you shouldn't do it unless you can take it because it will come right back at you. Okay, it will come right back at you because these lunar mansions are powerful and the moon go goes around her orbits quick and it works fast. I know in the east the moon is considered to be, to be male and the sun female, but anyway, whatever. The moon goes around fast. So under, understand that these things come back at you quickly unless you're free of fear and guilt and then they don't come back at you. But you have to be completely free of fear and guilt or they will come back at you. You have to understand that, okay? it has been going on forever. Okay, now, these important resources for lunar uh, magic and transits. Lunar mansion, magic, lords, and angels. Uh, the information, the specific angels and lords according to Maslama al-Majriti. Uh, uh, um, and this is from the Picatrix. And the Picatrix is an ancient book, okay, by uh, Maslama al-Majriti. Uh, and he was an astronomer and a scientist. Many, many, he, he had so many uh, things he was accomplished. He was a scholar. So the Picatrix, an important book. And also Henry Cornelius Agrippa, three books of occult philosophy, uh, respectively, with Lunar Mansion Ephemeris, according to Christopher Warnock. The Mansions of the Moon, a Lunar Zodiac for Astrology and Magic. These are the things you should buy. The Pick and Tricks and Three Books of Occult Philosophy and The Mansions of the Moon, a Lunar Zodiac for Astrology and Magic. So we've got uh, Maslama al uh, Madridi and Agrippa and Warnock. All right. We love our Lunar Mansions. See you next time.